Creepings everybody, welcome back to another episode of Series Curious Adventures in Ice of Ara. Last episode we solved that server puzzle and now we have a new one here that we need to rearrange, which is not super difficult, I guess. Or is it? Oh, it's one of those where it rotates like everything, not everything, but like more than one thing at a time. I see. It's still not super difficult. I think what we have to do is align the outer one with some of the rest, like this, right? Uh, let's see, this is that one. Uh huh, okay. Uh, it is a bit trickier. Although... Hold on, if I do this one... Uh, where does this go? Like here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, it is. It is trickier <laughs> than I thought. But need to go all the way to here again. It's almost perfect, is it? No, because this one needs to be all the way on the other side. So this one rotates. The two in the middle. This one rotates only the outside. This rotates this one as well. But there's none that rotates the two outside ones, right? This one rotates this one as well. So I'm just trying to figure out which ones I need to align here. Probably those two, because I can rotate them individually then. But then this one would rotate it as well. Uh... This is aligned properly now, but the rest is not again. Yay, I did it. <laughs> a little bit of trial and error, to be honest. Okay, is this going to be an entrance? Ooh, it is. Is the other one open too? No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll open this from a different side or something. Alright, let's just go through here. Crawl through the sewer. Or whatever it is. Alright, pretty dark again. I'm guessing that's where we came from. A bunch of bottles. I guess it's like a wine cellar. Okay, what's in here? Coins. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Don't think so. Okay. Mountain brow, oh boy, yeah. Which is German for brew. Which is probably not too confusing. What is this? Uh, how do, where does this need to align with though? Oh, those two? Ah, it's like a... It's like the same thing, but they're like spread out a bit. Okay, so I think it's one of those probably. Circle there, and then those little things at the end. Like this. Oh, that might have opened the other side then. Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, what else do we have here? More of these barrels. There's probably some hidden stuff still. Some coinage or something. Or poster or what have you. Uh, there's a chain. That opens a gate. I don't think we know where this leads to yet. It's not like we've seen it from the other side or something. So that's good. And uh, other than that, I don't know. I think that might actually have been everything. At least as far as I can tell right now. It's quite possible that there's more again and I have to come back. But let's go through here. Let's see where this leads. So this goes up again. Ah, so this goes to here. So this actually was like a little... Uh, 
little hallway down there, a little sewer entrance. Cool. Alright, then let's go to the other side of this. And crawl through there. Alright. Uh, another crazy looking wall that could be a secret entrance, but maybe, maybe not. There's always these bricks here that look like you can break them up or something. They look like you can push them in. Okay, looking for like another chain maybe. Hmm. Nothing here, okay. Can we access anything on this side? Oh, there's something, coins. No, it's a figure. It must have washed down somehow. Okay, I don't see a chain, but again, could just be blind. Let's go up this ladder. Ooh! We outside. This is a completely different area now. Oh, what? We're here now. Oh, interesting. Uh, we did collect everything in here. Why do we have this open? It's just a shortcut, then, I guess, right? Yeah, it must just be a shortcut, I guess. Okay. Cool. So that's like a quick way back to the main room. Well, let's go back down then. Because we, we resetted the server, so the doors should be open. And that computer in that one room should be active now. So, up the stairs. And then down the stairs, I think? No, no, this is where we just came from. It's up the stairs and through the door, right? Uh, through here. Yeah, so this should be active. Cool. So check this out. Uh, we could connect this. Let's do the research here. The eyes appear to be powered by some kind of high-density material that, when subjected to the right conditions, is able to generate a small yet extraordinary powerful energy source. I do not pretend to begin to understand it. It is clear that this technology was de devised by an intelligence far beyond my own. My first task must be uh, to recreate the conditions that activates the source. If I can create this reaction myself, perhaps I can begin to understand how they function. I do not seem to be alone in this. The eyes want, to, uh, want me to understand it. It is strange, but I see the equations in my dreams. I see the patterns, the circuitry, even the device themselves. That I must inevit uh, inevitably, in inevitably <laughs> construct. I don't know. It is as though they are trying to communicate with me, though it is hazy and unclear. And I wonder, is this because they have difficulty communicating with human uh, physio physiology? Or is it withholding to the last uh, the method by which they weaponize my body? Ooh. It's going to be an evasion. Success! After years of research and experimentation and countless failed attempts, I have managed to bring the core into an intermittent energy state. The power so uh, source glows with a bright yellow hue and is warm to the touch. It is incredibly efficient, wasting very little energy to heat. Upon activation, I detected an extraordinary amount of radio interference and moving the core into the close proximity with a receiver caused it to produce intense static feedback. No doubt this is the source of the mysterious signal that has uh, em uh, emanated <laughs> from this island for all the years that I have lived here. It is weak though, the eyes themselves uh, seem to give off a much stronger signal. Furthermore, while the signal from my core is steady, that of the eyes seems to fluctuate. Perhaps I can control the energy output? That is the logical conclusion. I must move on to the next phase of my research and attempt to replicate the conditions for a high energy power source. When did he start with this one? 96 and the other one was 99. Two years later. I have learned a great deal since successfully activating a high energy state core two months ago. I now have multiple acti uh, activated cores, each one generating a cool blue light. I have even discovered how to control the output, which has led to a further extraordinary discovery. By synchronizing the frequencies, I can amplify the output. With enough of them, I could create an energy field that, uh, of virtually limitless power, 
though the logistics of such an undertaking are impractical. Impractical, I say, for me perhaps. The eyes could no doubt act in unison to achieve this uh, justice. They are far more adept to uh, at mani uh, manipulating their own technology than I will ever be. What they might do with such an energy field, I do not know, though the amount of interference it would generate would be sure to cause havoc on the airwaves. Nevertheless, this gives me consideration for the next phase of my research. Already I feel like the, uh, the drives uh, I feel like the drives to move on to the next stage. Already the eyes lead me down new paths. I begin to, I begin to suspect that I am as much their research project as they are mine. Reading log file corrupted. Okay. Connect this oscilloscope. And can we access things on the side? Not this time, I don't think. Okay. Uh, let's check this out. So, I guess we need to create these three waves. So let me, uh, where do I draw that? My thing is full. Uh, okay, on third page, I guess. It's gonna take me a bit to write down. All right, I wrote them down. So let's go check this out. So the first one should have a higher frequency to make the waves like th like closer together. And the amplitude should be, let's see, one, it should be like two, like this, yeah. It's like two and a half. Okay, do you just change it to the next one now? The next one should have a low frequency. Uh, maybe not that low. And then it only goes up to two bars. Somewhere around here. Don't know what exact frequency is gonna be. Now I think I have to activate something first actually. Let's go back to the first one because that was like doing stuff. Maybe it's not 100% right. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's correct then. Cool, so now the lower one. Higher. Now it's around here. I feel like that should be it. Oh, lower a little bit. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And then the third one is... Um, uh, way lower amplitude. This one is a bit... Different. There we go. Nice. Okay. I hope that's not bad. Oh, can we take this? This is a blue light. I guess we need to put something in there. To open it up maybe and then we can take it cool 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 i actually when i read a review of this game uh, a lot of people said that this oscilloscope puzzle apparently was super difficult and apparently it's planetary one too that's what i read <laughs> and some people stopped playing then so i don't think this oscilloscope puzzle was difficult but who knows what this planetary one here is Okay, so Mercury, Venus, Mars. There are symbols here, so we know which symbol each planet is. Alright, now I need to write down a ton of things, I guess. Okay, I wrote those down. Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. Seems important, yes. Collectible and a letter. 
We're leaving in the morning, so I've decided to spend the night in a planetarium. I like it in here. It's peaceful and I can fall asleep watching planets dance. But not tonight. I just had another dream. This one was much more real than any of the others. I was standing on the top of a castle's tallest tower with Uncle, and we were looking at the stars. I could hear the sound of thunder in the distance and the ocean breaking on the rocks below. Suddenly there was a massive crash and I turned to look, and saw a huge wave slamming against the castle. I felt afraid, but when I turned to warn Uncle, he was gone, and suddenly everything was silent. The night was calm, and when I looked at the stars, they had changed. Then the lights came. A few at first, and then more and more, all watching me as great a light began to glow. It grew brighter, and a noise like thunder came, and got louder and louder until I thought I couldn't take it anymore. And then just as suddenly it stopped, and I woke with a... Uh, and then just as suddenly it stopped, yeah, and I awoke with a fright. But it was more than just a dream, I'm sure of it, of it. They were calling to me, they want me to go to the top of the tower, there's something there I need to do. I need to find a way up there, whatever it takes. Oh. Getting into some trouble. Okay, apparently I'm sitting on a chair right now. Yeah, it's a chair. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this this is this really reminds me of um, that Zog Nemesis game I mentioned before. Just these lots of like planetary stuff and the zodiac signs and the alchemy stuff. Then, okay, so you can activate these. What if I do this? So this one is Jupiter. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy, there's stuff going on here. Okay. <laughs> 2002. In my dreams I have seen a great many things. I have not seen the eyes watching us silently and patiently. Uh, I have seen <laughs> and patiently for countless eons. I have seen them manipulating us, testing us, experimenting on us like so many mice in a lab. Uh, none who have dwelled here have been free of their influence. We are the research project, the grand experiment. How many worlds have they visited? How many people have they studied? This much I have been able to discern. That they came from a star from far away, around which orbits not Jupiter, and a single rocky planet... Uh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Which orbits a hot <laughs> Jupiter, I guess. Right? Makes more sense, maybe. And a single rocky planet, not unlike our own. They set out on a great expedition of learning, sending out their vessels in all directions to all corners of the cosmos. As I lay here watching the planet's wheel overhead, I can use the projector to visualize the great journey in three distinct stages. The distant homeworld, the majestic gas giants of our outer solar system, our tiny blue marble nestled among the uh, inner planets, I can only imagine other wonders too numerous to comprehend. I cannot fathom the eons uh, of time that they have explored and waited. Do they perceive such lengths of time as we do? Are they merely machines, little more than intelligent drones programmed for data collection? Or is their intelligence a sign of something more? Perhaps even a sign of a people that have transcended the need for mortal bodies and are now a part of some great collective consciousness. On this I can only speculate. That's the symbol again we've seen before. That they have been manipulating me from the start is now apparent. They have guided my hand to some end purpose. What that is, is still uh, I still do not yet understand, but I have little doubt that it involves the final phase of my research. Work on the device continues, however slowly. It is a complex machine of extraordinary technology. They have studied humanity for centuries, experimenting on us and testing our intelligence. Soon their work will be complete. Crazy. Uh, okay. And there's something here. Oh, this is gonna be a star, I'm guessing. A yellow star. Probably this one then. Uh, okay. Okay, I can click that. Does it change something here? I don't think so. Hmm. We need a key for that. Okay. And what is this? Doesn't change much. And then we have all the different planets here. 
Okay. If I turn some of these off. Mars. Hmm. Can I click this? No. Okay. Don't exactly know what they want me to do. This seems to be a distance thing. Right? Maybe? Did it change the outlines or something of the planets? Don't think it did. So let's see, Saturn for example... Is... This one. That is, I don't actually know. So these are probably the two planets or whatever that they are from, perhaps. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky, isn't it? No wonder that people said this is difficult. Uh, I don't know if this is super important. Maybe, maybe we need these exact planets. Three distinct stages, the distant homeworld, the majestic gas giants of our outer solar system, our tiny blue marble nested among the inner planets. Of the outer, so there is a gas giant, so these three I guess, yeah. One of them is this symbol, which is probably the home planet. The other one might be the, the um, gas giant. And we still need a key for that, so I don't, oh yeah, let's sit down here. That doesn't... Mm. Don't know what this does. Okay, let's just go ahead and turn these all off and see if something happens. Can I click this? No. Uh, also possible that I need to see here what the statue is downstairs. Maybe it represents one of the planets. It had like a leaf feel, a leaf thing. Was it this one? Mm, nah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it could be. I might just try all the names or whatever and see if anything changes. Okay, so I disabled all of them doesn't do anything. These are not buttons to click. Uh-huh. Plants are still there. So maybe I'm still missing stuff. Not sure. See, this is one of these things again where I would like to know if this is actually active and working or if it needs more power from somewhere. I mean, there's well, the cables come from every single thing, right? So it's not like there's one that's like not going to any of these or whatever. I don't know what this is going to be helpful for. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be something. Okay, maybe I'll go to that statue downstairs and see if there's something with that and if I can... Oh, wait, wait, there's another door though. There's another door to open up. Was it in this room? In the main room? There's also still this thing. There's still a bunch of stuff, actually. Yeah, this room here. Oh. Mm. Do I have a code for that? We still had a... No, the posters were in a different room. Mm-hmm. The only things I have is like the dates of all those people, but I don't think... I don't think that's gonna be that. Yeah, this person, who is this? I mean, six letters, right? 
So it could be a bunch of planets. Uh, well, it could be Saturn. Nope. Uranus. Nope. And actually, that's it. Oh, there's something here. Bunch of coins, probably. Ah, photograph. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, you know, going through again because I need to... Well, I don't know what I need to do, to be honest. Oh yeah, we also have the symbols up here. Which I don't know what they are. Huh, I should write these down because I think those are the only two in here. Hmm. I think this is Orion, the person, is it? Because this looks like a lot of the same banner and it looks like an archer. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I think this is old archers. So it could be that that's just Orion. And I think there was a book about Orion in the... Uh, at the beginning of the game, in that first area. So maybe I need to go back there and check that book out. Maybe there's a name in there that with six digits that would fit in here. But I'm going to write down these symbols too. I don't know if I've seen them anywhere. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have, but could be completely wrong, of course. Anything on these wooden things here? No. I mean, I don't know if you can guess the name. <laughs> probably not. It would like... Yeah, there's probably lots of different combinations. I really don't know what it could be. Okay, so this is the book of Orion, the hunter, right? But none of these names would fit into that thing. It has to be six digits. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think those two symbols we see up here, I think those were the ones we entered into these two machines here. So I don't think they have any more purpose. I think that I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, I was also wondering, like, maybe that blast cr did something. Who are you? I need to know who you are. Although it would only give me a light, I think. So it's probably something not, like, progress-wise important, but just, you know, important for uh, collectibles. What could be the password be for this door? I don't think I have any four digits number. Like I said, the only thing I can think of is like these statues down stairs have tons of dates, right? So I could just try to go through all of them, I guess. Hmm. Nope. None of the, the dates I have written down is the password. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these dates either. Like the birth dates and stuff. Cause and then these dials. Hmm. Because I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with the age or something, right? But... Like, this guy would be 50. But how... Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. This only... This, this guy died at 17. Crazy. This one is... Uh, 42. And this one is... Uh, f uh, 87. But does that help me? Do these numbers help somehow? I don't know. Don't know what that could mean. I don't see the relationship to these things here. So there might be still something missing. Um, but I feel somewhat stuck right now. I don't exactly know. I may just have to figure out that... Um, yeah, that telescope thing at the top. There's also this one here, which makes me... This says face amplifier times two. Oh, that's just these things, okay. I was wondering if I had to, like, modify these waves somehow uh, to open this up or something. But no, I guess not. There's nothing else I can do. I can't, like, open this up or anything. But that would only be a collectible too, I think. 
Yeah, so... I don't know. I guess I may have to figure out... How this room works, unless I'm still missing something in here. I can zoom in on all these two, right? But I don't know if, like... Some of these have like some secrets up. Wait, why is this one active again? Oh, they're all on again. And I don't know if this has power or what. And, you know, if there's a key missing or... Uh, it, this doesn't seem like it's complete. I feel like I'm still missing something to do this one. But I could be wrong again. Again, there's no great feedback when you click these buttons, unfortunately. It doesn't tell me if this has power or not. Yeah, so... Tricky. <laughs> Gonna be tricky. Okay, I keep... Hmm. Maybe, maybe this is the solution here. So, just looking at all the plans and mentions, right? So it says... They came from a star far away around which orbits a hot Jupiter, right? So maybe we need to enable Jupiter. And a single rocky planet not unlike our own. Mars? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, set out a great destination, blah, blah, blah. And then it says three distinct stages. Their distant homeworld, which I think is this symbol. The majestic gas giants of our outer solar system, which is Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Uranus, and Neptune. And our tiny blue marble nested among the inner planets, so Earth. I wonder if I need to disable everything else. So we would need Mars and Earth. So I would have to disable only Venus and Mercury, which I just did. But I don't know. That doesn't do anything either. And yeah... I mean, this doesn't update, right? Like, all of these planets are still being projected. So even if I, like, turn these off. Like, even if I turn off, like... I think this is Mars. Like... Doesn't change anything. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like this is not working yet, this machine. Like, nothing is changing here. We see the ones on the outside. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I'll have to end the episode here. I'll need to, like, look into this, because, yeah, here, outer planets, all those four. And then the inner planets, Earth, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't know. Something going on here still. I might just experiment with this, but... I have to end the episode, unfortunately, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.